on this episode of Kim's Rude Awakenings, The Breens, a family who treats mom like their personal servant. Mom! Lunch! I'm the maid, I'm the, the chauffeur, I'm the bank. I, I play all those roles. The mess piles up, but the kids don't lift a finger. I am a lazy person. You want an allowance, you want me to buy you stuff, but you don't clean up the closet and do the things you're supposed to do. Kim Woodburn and Mike Shalou have got to get mom back in control. The woman's supposed to be doing all the work. Uh Britain's Queen of Clean, Kim Woodburn, has crossed the Atlantic to meet lifestyle expert Mike Shalou for a very special assignment. Their mission, to identify, confront, and rehabilitate messy, disorganized Canadian families and bring pride back into their homes. This time, Kim and Mike are meeting the Breen family, comprising Mom Vicky, daughter Jennifer, son Dylan, and dogs Odin and Trixie. The Breens moved into this townhouse four years ago, and while at first it seemed like a dream come true, over the years it's become a multi-level mess that might be mistaken for a crime scene. <laughs> Laundry is left out in the open, cobwebs hang from the ceiling like grungy chandeliers, and the carpets look like they haven't been cleaned since the dawn of time. Nikki tries to balance cleaning with her full-time job as a business analyst, but without any help from her two teenage kids, Vicky's efforts barely make a dent. I feel like when I do something, I'm spinning my wheels, nothing ever gets done. Vicky's 40th birthday is fast approaching, and she desperately wants to make a change. 40 is a, is a big deal, and I would really love to have everything in, in order and have a system in place. But that hasn't convinced Dylan and Jennifer to change their ways. She makes us our food, she drives us where we want, she gives us money when we need it. I got it made. And that is the Breen's big issue. Vicky needs to regain control of her household so that her kids stop treating her like their personal servant. I think for everybody's sanity, it, uh, things have to change. Kim and Mike are on their way to fix the Breen's growing mass of problems. They're gonna do it with a very rude awakening. Good morning, Breen family. Rise and shine. Your attitude stinks and you're old enough to know better. You never help your mother. She's not your mate. This is amazing. Get your butts out of bed, Breen family. This is your rude awakening. Careful. You should have seen this was cleared. Woo! Kim, Kim, you know what? This is Canada, not Keep Britain. Keep older, mate. We have snow here. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Eat oh. the light. Hi, money. Jacket. Yes, I am taking my jacket off. The mess in the hallway. You think you had 25-year-olds in this house. But, and, you know, I'm looking around. All these cobwebs, Luffy. Cobwebs? Look at these rugs. There's, like, piles of dog hair. Blech. You work jolly hard, actually. You work long hours out of this house, don't you? Yeah. You don't work, you're 18. What do you do? Absolutely nothing. And you dare to stand there and see your mother go out to work and you do nothing? Yeah. You need to have words with him, you know. I presume this is the dining room, isn't it? Yes. Now, is this breakfast on your table right now? It's um, brunch. This is brunch. It's Dirty it's socks, a little no, bit of underwear. No, it's clean. It's clean. All right. Why isn't it folded and put away? Well, ask Jennifer. Her job is to put the stuff away. Why don't you put this away? Because there's no point. I know how to fold clothes. I know how to do my laundry. I know. I know. There's really no excuse for me except it's just laziness. Ew, look at this light switch. It's disgusting. They haven't... Look at, look, look at, at this. Look at, this goes all the way around. Yeah, yeah. Look at, look, look, look. It's like something out of a Dickens novel, isn't it? Look at the... Oh, oh. Laundry. Laundry and dust everywhere. I can feel it on my face. It's the like dustiest it's like, house we have been to. Mike, have you seen this up no, here? No, 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 no I no, just no. have to. Look, Mike, watch. Uh, I can see it from here. Look, Lovey. Uh, Wrap it on the oh. Look, look. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. What's my hair? Oh, oh, no, this is your responsibility. Well, by Joe, if you take it seriously, don't you? I do. I don't wish to be funny. I mean, you uh, don't notice this dust. When there's an image on the screen, you can't really see it. You don't notice that dust. Well, now I do. You are having me on. You're playing around, aren't you? No. Oh. All right, let's cut to the chase. What have I got to do to motivate you? I'm not sure. You want me to kiss you? No. What do you mean, no? I mean, no. All right. Right. 
<laughs> I'm going to kiss you and cuddle you unless you tidy this house. Get upstairs. Get up those stairs. She's going to kiss you like an animal. This constant state of grime has got to stop. Kim and Mike need to figure this family out. I think the biggest problem here, Kim, is that Jen and Dylan believe their mother should be their maid. Yeah, but she's partly responsible. She's never chastised them, has she? Fair dues. The thing is, though, I've got to get those women and their dogs to keep the floor and the carpet clean. They're disgraceful, you know. And as for the marks on the walls, oh, give me a break. This laundry situation is out of control. It's everywhere. And that young man, Dylan, his mother waits on him hand and foot. He needs to learn, like, to cook his own meals. Well, I'm glad you brought him up, because I'll tell you for why. You know when I mentioned kissing him to motivate... I was only to motivate, it wasn't to get you jealous and hurt. You thought I was jealous of him? Yes, because, look, Mike, you know I know that you want to kiss me. No. Oh, stop it, Mike, you're a tease. I don't want to kiss you. You do. Don't. Right now, Vicky is being pushed around by her kids. Mom! Yeah? What's for lunch? I feel like I'm the maid all the time. I'm the maid, I'm the, the chauffeur, I'm the bank. I, I play all those roles. But in order for Jennifer and Dylan to change their ways, they need to understand what they're putting their mom through every day. It's time for The Switch. Kim and I are in full agreement that you two treat your mother like a maid. So we have decided we're going to make you a maid and a butler. We basically want... <laughs> You two to wait on your mother hand and foot. When your mother goes, <coughs> you run and say yes. And whatever your mother wants, she gets. Yes. Jennifer and Dylan have changed their look, but are they ready to change their attitudes? Oh, hey, hey, you. Take the tea bag out. She didn't tell me to remove the tea bag. But you it's an uphill battle that Mom, Kim, and Mike can't afford to lose. Fold it nicely. Kim Woodburn and Mike Shalou have geared up to battle the Breen family's untidy ways. You don't notice that dust. Well, now I do. 